Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 11 of Let's Play as Queen Empress Dani Targaryen. So we've already just, just instantly won the war. The problem is that she's a woman, so she can't lead troops, so she's just hanging out in the capital. And that's where we arrived. So yeah, um, offer peace, uh, we're gonna enforce our demands. It's mine now. We have usurped all the things, thank you. So these are now our vassals, and we have inherited the war that she was fighting. The Riverlander War for Roland's claim on the Iron Throne. Guess what, Roland Baratheon, son of Stannis Baratheon? We have dragons. Like, like lots, ooh, request coronation. Yeah. Enacting this decision will result in a request to the High Septon for a coronation ceremony to be held in the Great Sept of the Faith in honor of Empress Daenerys. This will also this will allow Empress Daenerys to become crowned and blessed by the faith and extend your authority as the ruler of the Seven Kingdoms, which further legitimizes your rule. Um, costs 30 bucks. Let's wait until after we finish this war. So we're currently losing because we've lost control in some places. We're actually fighting against Lord Paramount Brandon of House Stark. Brandon Stark. Interesting. He is currently leading troops in Fair Market, which is here. So, I think what we do... Let's, let's also check out where his capital is located. Okay, so his capital is that one. So let's just take our little paltry force and head up there. And... All hail her grace, Daenerys of the House Targaryen, Empress of the Andals and the Rainer and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, Protector of the Realm, um, and of Giscar. Your grace, the Conclave of the Citadel has selected the Grand Maester, the head of the Order of Maesters and servant of the Iron Throne. Let us hope... Let us... Let's hope he serves us well. Eric joins Empress the Conqueror. A lowborn man with 25. That's fine. Believes in the old gods, which is kind of kind of strange for Well, I guess the Maester could could believe in that. Need a new Master of Whispers, who better than this random mare? I will have him scheme King's Landing, I guess. I don't know. Alright. We can request coronation, we can do these things. We still have no babies. I'm over my domain limit. We picked up one holding here. And we picked up Dragonstone, which is like our family home. There's a royal shipyard, the Painted Table. Located on the top floor of the Stone Drum is a large table, carved and painted in the form of a detailed map of Westeros. Here, Aegon the Conqueror planned for the invasion of Westeros. The painted table is more than 50 feet long, roughly 25 feet wide at its widest point, and 4 feet at its thinnest. At the precise location of Dragonstone is raised is a raised seat that allows the occupant to view the entire map. It is covered by over 300 years of varnish. So it doesn't actually do anything, but it is kind of fancy. I think we're just going to get rid of that holding. That's curious. Instability. Game is gonna crash soon. Not currently a ruler. Yes, 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 and no. All right, so we have some East Valyrian people. I am High Valyrian. Be preferable if we could find some other High Valyrian, but I guess we just take this guy. Here, you can have Dragonstone. Oh, I'm not trying to get you married. I'm trying to grant you a title. Oh, must be able to marry and produce heirs. Well, why didn't you say so? Is it because he's a Septon? Must be. Here, you then. You can have it. And we've got the Red Keep, which is the capital of the kings. Yeah, we want that one. And then somehow we have this thing. Which is kind of crap, really. So we'll just get rid of it. That puts us below the limit, so let us go win this war with our dragon. I have managed to gain the Iron Throne that is mine by right, but the deposed Myrcella Lannister still holds dominion over the Crown Lands. This should be rectified. I am their rightful liege. So these people become... I become her, their lieges. Their liege. Okay. Your Imperial Majesty will honor my allegiance and take up arms to defend the realm against the rebels. The armies of the Vale will join you as soon as possible. He seems perfectly content to be conquered. Sweet. 
It's because I'm so pretty. I have discovered a plot where somebody's trying to do something, whatever. Totally gonna go kick his army's butt. Gonna deploy our dragons. Buy somebody's loyalty, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll at least be somewhat strategic. A representative from the Iron Bank of Bravos is here, reminding me of that loan I took. I don't remember taking any loans. I inherited a loan or something. Okay, where did your army flee to, you little dirty... There it went. Apparently we can't cross this river. I have to go up to the twins. House Targaryen has ruled Westeros since Aegon's conquest. We united the Seven Kingdoms into one. We built King's Landing. We forged the Iron Throne and we let will not let our birthright slip away. Fire and blood. We get a strong claim on the Lordship of Dragonstone. So I got my claim back on this land. I mean, I gave it away because it's kind of a crap province, but... Okay, do we even need to worry about deploying the dragon? We've used Dragon Harass. I don't even have commanders at my side, but we're... All right, okay, we gotta look at these available tactics. We have one. Dragon Harass. Everyone does insanely better. We don't even need to deploy the dragon. We just Dragon Harass. I want to see what happens if we actually get into physical. Okay, so now that we're in the actual melee phase, our available tactics are Botched Raid, Regular Raid... Legendary raid. We've we've done an impressive raid. Not nearly as good as the dragon thing. I guess dragon harass is really the only one. Don't bother me with the small lords. So we just won, you know. That's nice. Are we continuing to do dragon harass? Yes. Dragon Harass, so strong. And we are still losing the war because of his occupation in Dire Den. Which is where? Dire Den. So this thing apparently got siege, which is costing us. I say what we do is we just go to his capital now and just siege it. Apparently I'm losing insane amounts of money due to mercenaries. Why are my mercenaries so expensive? I would love to know. Why are my Unsullied costing so much money now? I owned them. It cost me 240 gold a year. Even more so, actually. I guess we dismiss the Unsullied, I mean... Is that this army? No. Why are you independent? Oh, right. He... I'm really confused by this hired 9,498. I would love to know where the Unsullied are and why they cost me so much, but whatever. Whatever. We're just gonna go win this war. And then we're going to put everything all together. Oh, look at that. Army of the Iron Isles. Let's go attack it. Sounds like something we should do. It's a superior force, but we have a dragon. Uh, let's go ahead and actually get some other commanders. And, um... Wow, what a small force in the center. We'll put, we'll do it like that. Bigger flanks on the side, because she's so strong in the center. I don't know, it doesn't really make much difference, I guess. And then we'll pick up, um, just whatever, some guy. And unfortunately, I actually have to do this, just to be able to appoint a character here. But, uh, let's do that. And in this case, since there is, it's a superior force, even though we're doing Dragon Harass, which is awesome. I mean, we're so strong. Their damage is so high. Like, you can actually look further in. Most people don't really realize you can, like, click this button. 
and then see in here and see what their actual scores are during combat. Like Archer's Defense, 33. They're, they're 10 times stronger. These guys, 10 times stronger. Look at that, 33 defense value. 55 defense value. Compared to regular, which is like 5, 6, etc. But um, since this is a more dangerous battle, I think we will deploy our dragon. Enemy leader is in battle against you. Any enemy leader is in battle against you. I am in battle. Hello? I'm totally in battle right now. You Can you only do it in the melee phase, maybe? You've gained a better understanding of military matters. In the chaos of battle, your men have managed to corner the Iron King Victarion of House Greyjoy and killed him. That was the guy that was that I was leading, fighting against. Yeah, it's a dragon harass. I'm actually losing now because I don't really have great tactics that I can use in the melee phase, and I can't burn them with fire. I don't understand why I'm not allowed to burn them with fire. So we might actually lose this battle because I can't do what I expected I'd be able to do. I guess we retreat. I don't understand that. At all. Alright, we're gonna go to the, the rebel leaders. Now we're fighting again. And again, I can't deploy... The dragon. Unleash the dragon! Just do it! Why aren't you helping out with the battle, you ally? You? Why are we even hostile with you? What are you doing? Are you part of the defense? You must be. Who understands this game? There's a new... Greyjoy, now it's a king, Iron King of the Iron Isles, King Euron. And again, I can't do the damn dragon thing. We did it in Astapor, I remember that. But we're getting slaughtered. Is that my Unsullied that are dying? No. This must be... 7,000. It says I have 7,000 Unsullied somewhere. Okay, I must have, like, split the Unsullied off at some point. You guys, come on over here. And we can only raise, actually, 18,000 troops, which is kind of scary. Let's get out of here. We're going to leave these troops behind. In fact, why don't we just disband this army? This is a retinue. And Balin's company. Are these mercenaries? It's like it's charging me for mercenaries that I don't actually have raised or something. Who understands this game? I have a feeling though that the, the vassals will win the war for me. Oh, and have you attached? Great. Well, in that case, we'll command again. And we'll go beat up this guy's army. Dragon harass. Amazing. So yeah, you do want to have a huge army in the center flank. That was kind of a mistake earlier. And since we can't use them, use the dragon during war, I guess we'll just use them for sieges. Tracarys. Rawr. Leader's not here. Let's take his family. Sounds good. His wife. He's not worth much. She's not really worth that much. But we'll keep her. Do you own any other land? He does. He owns Turnbridge. Let's go there. He's leading troops in the Red Fork. Now he is reigning in River Run. He should be defending. Good. Good, good, good. And this one we can probably just assault. Because we don't need we don't want to use the dragon too often. I mean it, it can kill you, right? I think it can. Class clasp the leader in chains. Wonderful news. So we caught what's his face? 
Lord Paramount Brandon of the Riverlands. Um, we're going to enforce peace. None of Lord Paramount Brandon of the Riverlands holdings are occupied by Lord Euron of the Iron Islands. Okay, so he... That's why that... Who that guy is. This, this guy is being attacked by somebody else. It's the Iron Islander invasion of the Riverlands. So we need to find this stuff. Like, I need to, like, defend him or something. We're just going to put it all in the center flank. Let's just go beat up Euron's What's-His-Face's army. I physically cannot end the war because of this guy. But maybe if we kill him or capture, capture him in battle... Major river crossing into forest. Ooh, forest provides a bonus in this. I don't think it's going to matter with dragon dragon harass. We've inherited something that I don't want. What tactic is this? Still using dragon harass. Awesome. I love the dragon harass. Just use that every time. Okay, so it's his war, though, that needs to end. The other guy's winning. So I think it's just this guy, right? And he's occupied these holdings here. He hasn't occupied a bunch else. So maybe we just go back over this way and we assault it. I want to try to get this squared away before I end this, this video. It's this kind of obnoxious. There we go, enforce demands. Alright, um, and then this is retinue. Or something. And uh, yeah, there we go. So I'm going to take a break here. I think in the next video what will happen is all these realms will fall back in underneath us. And uh, it should all get very, very simple from here. So thanks for watching everyone. See you again soon.